Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We made it to Mount Carlton. We are just starting the walk right now. The cat has food and water, and we have our book bags all ready to go. So, let's do this. So far, so good. Got a little glisten going. Uh, also have to watch where you're stepping. This part's not so bad, but there's a lot of parts that have like roots and big rocks sticking up. When we first entered the woods, started walking, about five minutes into the walk, my phone started going off like crazy. And turns out I have signal here on the mountain, <laughs> nowhere else in the rest of the park. So gonna be nice to be able to text people once we get to the top of the mountain and let everybody know that we're safe and actually heading back today so and we'll even be able to send some pictures from the top of the mountain so that's gonna be nice next time we come we mentioned we have to invest in really good hiking shoes I know that's something that we've always wanted and uh, rain gear because you never know, it's best to have the best stuff, especially if you end up getting stranded or whatnot. Lost and in the wilderness. Become one with the bears. Become bear grills. Yeah. Not drinking my pee though. I'll drink your pee. Are you? Just kidding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and then I mentioned too that first aid kit. You should always have a first aid kit on you. I don't know why we didn't think of it before because I've already hurt myself and it's only like half hour into the hike. I didn't lift my leg enough so I caught a rock but oh well I'm still alive. I'm still able to walk. It doesn't hurt or anything so I guess we're doing good. We're almost at the top, I hope. Uh, right now, just taking a quick break because I found this big rock right next to the creek. And it's really pretty. So, hour and a half or so later, we're still not at the top. It's taking a lot longer than expected, but we've reached the part where it's a lot of incline, so our legs are getting really tired and getting really sluggish. I know mine don't want to lift me up anymore. <laughs> we should be getting close though. We well, we estimated about an hour and a half, almost two hours to get to the top, and I think we're we're pretty close to being on schedule. So a little bit longer. Thomas is gonna have to roll me down. I don't think I'll make it. We made it. I don't know how much of this you can actually hear because it is very windy up here. So it took us three hours to climb the mountain, a lot longer than we expected, but uh, we also took a different route than we took the first time we had come four years ago. Climbing the mountain made me realize how out of shape I am. And when we're traveling, we have to make it priority to get a lot more exercise and go out and explore. So we're heading back right now. We are just finishing up lunch right now, and yeah, we're gonna head down, get to the RV, and hit the road back to my parents' place. 
did you enjoy your time here? Yes. Are you happy we came? Yes. Good. Mm-hmm. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Nice and tired now too. Yeah. Which is good. But uh, yeah, it's it's getting cold. I'm ready to go back down. Mm-hmm. It's getting cloudier and cloudier. It's supposed to rain this afternoon, so the faster we can get down, the better. Right now we're making our way back to the RV and it's a fairly easy walk except for the large rocks. They're more of a nuisance than anything else. And after the walk we just did to get up to the mountain, we really just want to get to the RV and head out and relax. But this is what we're dealing with. I mean, it's not so bad right now, but there are parts where it's just huge rocks and it's really hard to get your footing you've been with us since the beginning we really need to invest in a stabilizer I think that's going to be the next thing that we invest in for the GoPro because I have really shaky hands on a normal day and so walking around all the footage that I capture it's really shaky and I really don't like the look of it but it's the only way to really show you guys what we're doing and all the places we're seeing and stuff like that so I think once the channel grows more and once we get some money saved up the stabilizer will be the next big purchase and then we will be giving you a plus footage <laughs> We made it back to Sam's parents' place safe and sound. We got in way more exercise than we are used to, to putting in, to yeah. getting, to doing. Even our brains aren't working. Even our brains aren't working anymore. I had to take some pills for my brain. Yeah, I, I think we both got pretty dehydrated. We have both had uh, headaches all night. Well, all night. It's it's like 10.30 right now. <laughs> We're ready for bed. <laughs> We're ready for bed. And we've been drinking lots of water to try to rehydrate, but it'll take a little while before it kicks in and the headaches go away. And I think really right now we just need sleep. And sleep, yes. So with that, I think we're going to end the vlog today. Uh, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel as well. Have a good night, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.